Hello everybody, Ethan Lee, Ely Custom Knives. So I wanted to talk about indicating a vise on a milling machine. Now there's a lot of different people that are kind of afraid of doing this and I've seen them at their shops, they have their vise indicated in in one spot and they'll do everything in the world to avoid taking that vise off just because they're a little bit intimidated of indicating it in. But in all reality, with just a little bit of practice, it's a very, very fast thing to do. And it should never really take you more than a couple minutes. So there's a couple things that are an absolute must have that make this way easier. The first is called an Indicol, and it's a specialty tool that's designed to clamp on the spindle of a mill, and you can move it any which way you want. And there's multiple uses for it besides just indicating a vise in. You can also use it to tram in head on a mill, indicate parts in very precisely. Very, very great thing to have and almost a must in my opinion. Now the next thing is a dial test indicator. Now these are a lot smaller than the regular dial indicators with a lot of travel that you're probably used to seeing. These indicators are a lot more expensive. They're also a lot more precise and they can be manipulated to point in certain directions whichever way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this test indicator in my Indicol. I'm going to go ahead and position the needle where I want and then I'm going to align the vise on the table with the slots. Go ahead and put my table bolts in then I'm going to kind of eyeball it in place to what looks somewhat straight. I'm going to go touch off on the back jaw, which is not the moving jaw. So now that I have the indicator touching the back vise, nothing's tight yet, I'm going to start indicating in the vise and I'll show you how I do that. So the first thing that I do is I move the dial on the dial test indicator to zero about midway in, the, in its whole travel. I travel one way and then back and as you can see I only got a couple inches down and I was out quite a bit so I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment to what I think is relatively close. So moving that little bit got me relatively close within six or seven thousandths. So I travel down and I travel back and this way I know exactly which way the needle needs to move and I tap the vise in that direction about two-thirds of the of the amount of that full travel then I know I'm going to be relatively close so I go ahead and I snug the bolts on the vise and tighten it just snug it to the table to where it's tight enough that it's you know not gonna move too much then I go ahead and I travel again and if you can see when that needle jumps a little bit that's the power feed that engages in the travel and when it kind of engages rapidly it makes it, the needle jump just a little bit, about a thousand. So I travel down and back and I can see that I'm really really close. Really I'm, I'm pretty much there. So I go ahead and I tighten the table bolts down relatively tight. Then I go ahead and I zero the indicator again so I know I'm exactly on zero then I run the travel all the way one way and I just verify it and now my vice is indicated in. So that was a little bit fast but I'm going to explain what I did. So as you can see it, when I start moving one way the needle starts traveling one way or the other on the dial and so I move it all the way to one side of the vice or if it's a lot out I just move it partially and then I come back I like moving one way and then coming back and knowing exactly which way I need to move the needle because if you just go one way and then try to adjust sometimes you can get a little bit lost and confused. So that's why I like to go down and back and then I move in the direction that that needle needs to go. Now on a lathe four jaw chuck a lot of times you'll move basically half the distance of one way. This I like to move kind of about two thirds because the other side of the vise is moving but it's not exactly mirroring what you're wanting to do here. So I like to go to about a third to two thirds, kind of creep up on it. And it is, I, I did do it pretty fast because I've done it a lot of times, but just a little bit of practice and you'll figure it out and 
indicate a vice in no time.